normally, I mean, you know, many people have seen oscilloscopes in laboratories, right? Here's an oscilloscope. There is an tool. No big deal, right? We've seen them a million times. But he's doing something quite unusual with an oscilloscope. He's getting oscilloscopes to produce three-dimensional, um, visually, they look like three-dimensional structures. Now, I found this fascinating. I'm just going to click through the video here to show you the type of thing that was happening. And I found this fascinating. But I believe the saying is, I nearly dropped my lunch when I saw this happen. Now, this, the tones you're hearing in the background, if you were to play that tone, folks, the oscilloscope set up the same way. This is a bog standard oscilloscope. You can buy any oscilloscope in the junk shop, right? Set it up. He tells you how to set the settings and then just play this sound and this will appear on the oscilloscope, sc oscilloscope screen. Now I'm going to tell you why I think this has something to do with Star Force and why it's important in a moment. Here we go. We are about to see the structure of Star Force. Boom. Start to emanate from the sound and the frequency on the screen. Can you see it? Do you see what I'm seeing? Is this not bizarre? So we go back to Antwerp. I think we have the same idea going on here. The reason for that is that here, that's quite clear to me that that is a typical Starford feature because you still have the water around a point and this outer trace is just roughly marked have a look over here we've got this little feature this little feature is over 500 meters across in both directions. Well, let's keep looking. Can you see the structures I'm seeing with the star forts that I pointed out to you earlier in Antwerp? around Antwerp. Was that not the shape of the star forts around Antwerp? Or something, I mean, I'm trying to pause on the right, at the right moment here. Uh, is anybody seeing this? I mean, like, let me know what you think here, folks. See the way, you know, as the wave collapses and as it moves and as it shifts, I'm wondering, well, here's what I wondered. I wondered, because I've looked at these star forts and I've thought, wait a minute. Um, so, here's another one. Over 500 meters. Another. 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 Okay. Going up here. Not really getting smaller. I'm wondering if I could generate, if I could fly over an, a landmass uh, with powerful enough of an audio generator, could I generate a big enough, or maybe a, with a crystal or something, could I amplify a signal big enough? to vibrate the earth at the same frequency as the earth and the stone 
to form these patterns from the earth from above this is my own theory folks i'm not kind of you know it was actually my eldest son said to me hey dad have you seen this crazy guy online that's doing all sorts of weird music and his weird music is making real weird patterns on the screen of an oscilloscope and i said well hey i gotta have a look at that <laughs> and i looked and i saw this and i thought well that's strange it, it coincides with the um with the re re research i'm doing on, on on the star forts and then this as well and i see this shape and i'm like what the hell is this and, and like i'm seeing similar shapes like i'm wondering well i'll just let, I'll let you hear the sound again <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. so and also a little scope he's talking a bit there but uh, I'll give you all the links for these folks. You can have a look. Um, I th I think you know. I mean, he's generating. Le look at this. Look, does that not look like a certain leaf that everybody would recognise? <laughs> but um, to me, you see, this is this is more interesting because I've looked at star forts, folks, and they just they just don't cut the mustard with regard to this is a defensive building. They just they just they're not defensive. I mean, yeah, you can defend them and, you know, you could fortify them. But they couldn't have been built for that purpose. They just couldn't have. When you look at them, it just, it just doesn't make sense. Starforts, hundreds of these beautiful buildings and earthworks adorn our planet like jewelry. Mainstream historians assure us that uh, this uh, peculiar shape evolved to cover dead zones for shooters supposedly defending their fort. They are telling us the story that first the towers were around, but the shooters had the dead zones and when they wanted to shoot at the enemy there they would be exposed, but when they made those towers pointed, those dead zones were eliminated. There is no doubt that indeed battles were fought in these forts. But that doesn't mean that the star design itself evolved exactly for military purposes only. It doesn't mean that it evolved for military purposes mainly as well. It is possible, and as we're gonna see even probable, that these buildings had different purpose originally. After all, most of them were built maybe on older bases, but uh, built in the era when uh, gunpowder was available and uh, usually when you siege a fort, large cannons would be used and they would tear the walls of the forts regardless in which angle they faced them. That is how battles were fought at that time, with uh, large cannons that would demolish your fort no matter at what uh, angles are the towers and are they pointed or not. Now, this one is interesting in its layout, it's a spiral. Maybe originally following the golden number rule fractal perhaps in its nature and overall there is 30 kilometers and I suppose you could say 30 kilometers in that direction.